So what I can do is I can go back in and I can visually verify how much material I've got applied to the pipe. So when you push back through, you can see it push the material away. Those ridges that are left, that's your mill thickness. That's how thick the, the coating is on the inside. Worst case scenario, you've pumped too much into the pipe or not enough. So in a, in a case where you don't pump enough, you just go back and reapply. In a case where you pump too much, you go back and you can you can feather the stuff out and, and pull it out. Okay? It, it, it's possible if you pump too much, it can run to the bottom. If it runs to the bottom, you may have a little bit in the bottom, but you can feather that material back, back and forth in and out. If it's really bad for some reason, if somebody just wasn't paying attention, you can use our grinding tools and just grind it back smooth and start over. So it's great for cast iron, PVC, clay, just about anything you can imagine. You can put a coating on the inside wall of it as long as you create a good enough of an anchor profile with our other, our other cleaning and grinding tools. So I can tell that's just a little bit thin right now, so I'm going to go ahead and go back in. And a little bit thicker down here, so I'm going to start right here and start applying more materials to come back. Oh, that's what you in a scenario where I've got an open joint like this or a crack inside the pipe, I could go back in and I could focus the, the epoxy right into that void. So if I've got an opening, like you can see on the screen there, right, right behind the, where the epoxy is dripping at, I could actually put more material in there and make sure that I get that joint nice and sealed. You can navigate multiple bends. It's great for chemical resistance in most cases, pressures and temperatures. Here now I'm going around to 90. 